Hey there, chicas! Bienvenidas! Welcome to another session of Mi Cocina. How are you doing? What time is it? Um, I want to say good evening. Buenas tardes. Now, I know. Oh, I want, first off, I want you to check out my awesome new apron. I'm rocking it for. This is actually like the third time I use it, but it was a gift that I was gifted by the company that I work for and I'm loving it. All right, let's dive in. Now, today's session is all about meal prep. Now, I'm just gonna give you a quick sneak peek because I'm not gonna have you here for a whole, an entire hour of my meal prep. I'm just gonna share with you the basics and how meal prep makes my life easier i highly recommend it i've been meal prepping for a little over five years now you see six years ago i said yes to challenging my fitness with a home workout i ended up dropping over 30 pounds and really taking ownership of my health when I first started, I was super excited and I wanted to try every single recipe I came across. I soon realized that cooking every single day and cooking these fancy elaborate meals was for, for the freaking birds. <laughs> I, I am a firm believer of keeping things simple. That's what I do. So what you will see today is a sneak peek in the beginning of my meal prep Monday. What, what I mean is the beginning of my meal prep Monday. Um, and just a little backstory on my meal plan. My meal plans, I both my husband and I, we eat the same thing every day. That is right. It works for some people. It works for us. It might not work for you. Everything that you hear, the tips that I give you, the recommendations, take everything with a grain of salt and ask yourself, would this work for me? You see, when I first, when I, when I made the decision that I was going to live healthier, I made the decision that I was going to eat food to fuel me and nourish me and not necessarily have a gourmet meal every single night. Let's dive in. So first off, I'm going to show you, I'm going to flip the screen a little bit. I'm going to share with you what I have here. So as part of my setup, Every week I create a new meal plan and these meal plans I share them with my personal Fit Latina challengers. On the first Monday of every month we start a new challenge. And so I create my meal plan, I share it with them. And that is what you are seeing here, my meal plan for the week. And like I said, I, I eat the same thing every day. So this is my one day meal plan. Now what I mean by I eat the same thing every day is I make simple switches like here, meatloaf or fish plus snow peas or cauliflower. This means that, let's say um, on Tuesday, I'm gonna eat meatloaf plus snow, or fish plus snow peas. And then on Wednesday, I'm gonna eat meatloaf or cauliflower. Does that make sense? So I make simple little switches, but for the most part, I eat the same thing every day. So I have my, I did my shopping. So what I'm diving into first are my recipes. I'm gonna flip this screen. Now the first thing that I look for when before I, I start meal prepping is I look for the things that are going to take the longest to cook. Oftentimes those are, the, those are the things that I'm going to bake. So if you see behind me the oven is already on, it's set for 400 and I know that I'm going to bake my sweet potatoes and I'm making this, um, this is the first time I'm making it. So if you ask any questions, I don't know, which by the way, welcome if you are watching the live news, the, this live Facebook feed video. Welcome. I'm glad. Thanks for tuning in. And by the way, I do love to keep these interactive. So if you have any questions or any comments as you are watching, feel free to drop them and I'll respond to them if it's a question or just give you a little shout out if it's a comment. All right. So going back to it, first I set my oven because I know it's going to take about 40 minutes. I'm making sweet potatoes and that new cauliflower smash, um, mashed potatoes. And hey there, Mandy. Thanks for tuning in, girl. And so they both require 400 degrees. So I set my, my oven for 400 degrees and, we, and they pretty much last around the same time in the oven. So I am baking those at the same time. 
Also, another thing that is going to be in the oven, it, now the temperature is a little bit different. It's 375 and it's only for about 20 minutes. So as the first thing, I'm gonna pop in my sweet potatoes, pop in my cauliflower, and while those are in the oven, I'm going to start cooking or preparing my, I'm making turkey burgers. And the turkey burgers are what are gonna last 375, um, or, or you need a 375 temperature for about 20 minutes. So I'm gonna let the sweet potatoes and cauliflower cook. And then after I finish prepping the patties, I'm just gonna put them in there uh, for about 15 minutes since the temperature is set at 400. Does that make sense? I hope it does. But these are the kind of things that I want you to um, just kind of want to get you into my mind um, so that, yes, sweet potatoes are freaking amazing. Just want to get you into my mind so you can see the things that I kind of go through as I'm preparing to meal prep. So I have that out. I'm also going to do flip the screen again. Um, so I want to show you my layout. Again, the oven is set for 400. I'm going to chop my sweet potatoes, cut up my, my cauliflower because they're going to go in there at the same time. Once I pop them in the oven, I'm going to start prepping my turkey burgers. And like the recipe is super easy. You just mix the, I don't know if you can see that, the ground turkey with salsa, which by the way, my mom was here last night and she prepared an awesome salsa homemade straight from mom. So uh, that just happened to be a coincidence that it happened. So. That's all you do, you mix the ground turkey with salsa and boom, put it in the oven, 375 for about 20 minutes. Hey there, Joanna, you're on week two, girl. I know you're pushing play, which by the way, Joanna, she is in my challenge group right now in the Summer Fit Latinas Challenge. And uh, she recently posted an update and she is kicking butt. Uh, no, you can't see it. Uh, I hope, uh, I don't know what you can see. hope you can see the video. Um, yeah, so Joanna just dropped a few pant sizes and she's really loving the energy. Um, all right, so going back to my meal prep, another thing that I have ready, after I put my sweet potatoes and cauliflower in the oven and after I prep my turkey burgers, ah, the, you couldn't see the recipe, got it. I'll take a sneak peek, okay? I mean, I'll take a snapshot of the of the turkey burger recipe if you want to see it and I'll share it in the comment section after the video is is well after I'm done shooting the video all right so after I make my turkey patties then I'm going to steam my broccoli now I usually get the whole broccoli head um, I just I wanted to make my meal prep easier and more simple today so I got these florets already washed and ready to eat and so I'm just going to steam them, steam them very little. And how I'm going to do it is I already have a little bit of water in here. I'm just going to wait for the water to boil and then just drop in the florets. And it's going to be literally for maybe like max, <coughs> excuse me, max five minutes. They're going to turn a bright green and I'm going to turn them off, take, turn off the, the stove and boom, they're going to be done. All right, so that's really what I have for you now. It's, <laughs> I'm also gonna prep some fish, um, and the fish I'm gonna do that last because I, I am using the oven and I'm gonna put them in the oven and it usually stinks up the place like fish, so that's gonna be last. Um, and oh, and I'm also, I'm steaming both broccoli and sugar snap peas, which by the way, this is the second time or. Third time I use sugar snap peas in my meal prep. If you haven't tried them, I avoided them for a long time. They're pretty awesome. I, I highly recommend them. Give them a try. I am kind of seasoning them with some sesame oil and um, ginger. We'll see how the recipe goes. But, all right, you guys, thanks for tuning in. If you have any questions, cualquier pregunta, I see you, Andrea, I see you, Miss Lynn Cantu and uh, Gloria. If you have any questions, feel free to comment, feel free to ask them, feel free to message me. It's what I'm here for. Um, thanks for tuning in. Have a wonderful rest of your evening.
and get your meal prep on.